Cream puff, cream puff, give me your answer, do. Okay, I've been watching Bake Off again, which means I am obsessed with shoe pastry. This is maybe one of the most technical things I've ever done on this channel, which my neighbor Ken is always saying, I don't try difficult things. So this one's for you, Ken, you exceedingly pale yet strangely suave and well-dressed yet strange and reclusive individual. Why did you bring a straw to my dinner party and keep doing that same joke where you poke me in the neck with it? It's not a joke if nobody gets why you do it, Ken. And while we're on the subject, you need a new dentist. Your teeth are way too pointy. Okay, enough about Ken. I'm not stalling because I'm scared of cream puffs. You're stalling. Leave me alone. We need to get going on the shoe dough, which starts on the stove, Try Guys. That's what they mean by a cooked dough. One cup of whole milk and one stick or half a cup of butter gets melted, mixed, and brought to a boil. Next, we add one cup of flat flat flour wheels, turn the heat down low, and mix this until it kind of forms this dry ball that's not too dry, but it's kind of like kinetic sand type of dough. And it's all going to be one mass, and it pulls away from the sides of the pan. Okay, that's good. So let's take it off the heat and move over to the stand mixer. Here we are mixing together four room temperature eggs. Next, we're going to get our dough into the standee, mixing it on low to let it cool a little bit. Basically, we want no more steam. Okay, Paul and Prue, I'm going to make you proud here. It's cool, so we're going to incorporate the eggs, close as makes no difference to one at a time, letting each egg incorporate fully before adding the next. We're looking for the V when you pull out the mixy thingy and hold it over. Look, Paul, 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 I got it. I got the thingy. I'm a genius. Give me that Hollywood hand. Okay, now seems like as good a time as any to have already preheated your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and line some baking sheets with parchment paper and prepped a piping bag. If you already did all those things, good job, but also why are you watching this video if you already know how to do this? It can't possibly be entertaining, listen to me. Unless it's like from a can't look away from the slow moving train wreck kind of stance, which I get, I own that, it's on me. This is how I live my life and I refuse to change. Anyway, we're gonna pipe these using a star tip for some extra fanciness and we're gonna just try to get them all as even as possible except for these ones, perfect. Okay, oven's preheated, I really hope this works. I'm always scared they're not gonna do the right thing and I've seen enough Bake Off to know. Good luck in there, fellas. 30 minutes till perfection, don't peek. It's like that gingerbread baby that hops out and makes absolute fools of the entire farm. Pull them out and let them cool. Look, they worked! Oh, if they're hollow, I am the greatest chef in the world, maybe. We'll have to see. In the meantime, we got other things to do with, like diplomat cream. It's fancy, I know. Like a foreign ambassador who's able to get away with a lot of crimes for reasons I don't fully understand. Anyway, it's actually not that hard to make. It starts like a typical custard. We're gonna get two cups of milk in a saucepan and four egg yolks in a bowl. The eggs get mixed vigorously with some vanilla and a half a cup of sugar while the milk goes on medium heat. Once that milk is almost to a boil, kind of simmering on the sides, temper the eggs by whisking a little bit of that milk streaming in slowly. Once about half your milk is in there and the eggs are well tempered, let's put it all back in the saucepan and continue stirring on low heat and it's gonna get thick. You can optionally add like four tablespoons of cornstarch. I didn't because I don't think it's super necessary with the way this recipe is. You do, however, want to add a teaspoon or so of gelatin to two tablespoons of cold water, mix and let it rest and bloom. Once the custard is mixed to your liking, you're gonna add the gelatin, mix it in thoroughly for one minute, then kill the heat and stir for another two. Once that's done, you want to pour it out into a wide, shallow pan and let it cool at room temperature until it's no longer steamy. At that point, we cover it and fridge until it firms up, which is going to be about an hour or so. Well, that was fast, like the magic of TV, but instead of having an underpaid kitchen assistant do it for me ahead of time so I don't have to waste even a second of my all-important day, I just did it myself and waited like a plebeian. Okay, quickly as we can, we're gonna do whipped cream with two cups of cold heavy whipping cream in the stand mixer with two tablespoons or so of powdered sugar. That was vaguely a clue reference. Anyone get it? No? Fine, we're moving on. Whip it to stiff peaks, then we fold in the whipped cream into the stabilized custard. And with that, our diplomat cream is born. Sturdy, rugged, ready for anything, and delicious. It's going to pipe beautifully and hold its shape just enough, but not feel too unnatural, you know? Sweet, but not too sweet, creamy, but also very heavy in dairy. So if you are lactose intolerant, you will need a pill, which is just beautiful for you. Okay, one last thing before we assemble. We're just going to do a real quick ganache, which just means a cup of cream brought to almost a boil, half a cup of finely chopped chocolate, dark or semi-sweet preferably, mixed it together and cooled so as to be dippable. Perfect. Okay, moment of truth. Cut the cream puff top. It's hollow. It's actually hollow. 
Not all of them are as hollow. Ooh, but who cares? Some of them worked. Star Baker, here I come. Get dipped in ganache. Get creamed. Get topped. I love cream puffs. Look at that. We made it through an entire episode together. And I didn't even make a single reference to Diddy. Formerly P. Diddy, formerly Puff Daddy. Please, please, please don't start calling me Puff Daddy. <laughs>